Hello, this is Rocky, and I'm going to show you how to make a VR chat avatar step by step guide. And in this tutorial, you'll be making this exact avatar, but you can use this tutorial to make really any avatar. All the links for everything will be down in the description. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and want to see more tutorials in the future. First thing you need to do is download Unity Hub by clicking this button right here. Next thing you need to do is Google what version of Unity VRChat is currently using. Mine is this one. Then you need to go and download that version of Unity, clicking this button right here to download with Unity Hub. I'm going to be using Silence Cell Shader for this tutorial. You can download it by clicking source code.zip. Next thing you need to do is find a model. Best way that I normally find models is going on DeviantArt and searching MMD models or TDA models or you can search something like MMD and the character name or I like to go on BRC mods and type in the character name or order by downloads or hottest get rid of this name right here there's a lot of characters once you find a model you like you can scroll down and download the zip file Then go to the VRChat website, log in, and click download, and VRChat avatars, download the most recent SDK. You will also need Cat's Blender plugin, we'll scroll down, click download here. Next you'll head over to Steam and download Blender on Steam, download the most recent version, and it should be free. Once you have Blender installed, go to your library, right click Blender, Go to Properties, go to Betas, and change from None to 2.79a. That's what this tutorial is going to be in. Once you have Blender open, press File, go to User Preferences, click Install Add-on from File, and then navigate to your Downloads and add the Cat's Blender plugin. Then hit this box to check it. And then open your zip file containing your model and export the contents of the zip file. Back in Blender, click on the Cat's menu on the left side, click Import Model, go to your Downloads, and import your VRChat model. Under the cats menu press fix model you can scroll in using the mouse wheel if you hold the mouse wheel and move the mouse you can rotate the camera and if you press shift while doing that you pan the camera now go to model options click on all to translate the bones and the materials and the shape keys i go down to eye tracking make sure it says il ir and change this to blink and this to basis. Press create eye tracking. Then press start eye tracking. Zoom in on your avatar's face and adjust these sliders to make sure your eye tracking is working. After it's working, press stop eye tracking. The next step is to create visemes. Click visemes. Make sure it says ah, o, oh, and ch and press create by zooms. Now press file, export, FBX, and save it to your downloads. Now open up a Unity Hub, click create new project, 3D, and name the project, create project. First thing you need to do is unpack the silent cell shader and drag the folder into Unity. The next step is to drag in the VRChat SDK into Unity. When a menu pops up, press Import. Then create a folder in Unity, call it Model, and drag in both the textures and the model that you exported from Blender. If you right click and press WASD, 
you can move the camera. Then drag the model to Unity, center it by pressing zero on the position. I like to go ahead and right click here, press create, folder, and I'll make a folder for textures. And I'll make a folder for materials. And I'll drag all my textures into the texture folder and click this arrow. Click and then hold shift and click on the end of these materials. Press export from prefab. Now highlight all of the materials and click here on standard. Change this to silence cell shading, cross tone. And then from opaque, change to cutout. This texture, change that to white. This first shading tone, I like to change this to gray, about this color gray. And this second shading tone, change to white. And down here in outline mode, change to tinted. Change this to white. Change this to 0 0.01. And now I'll go over here on the left side and click VR chat model. Click select. Change to humanoid. Press apply. Press configure. Now right here on the right side, I'll make sure all the bones are correct. And if they aren't correct, I'll make sure to change them. I also like to delete the toe bones. If you use the, the model for full body, I'd recommend keeping the toe bones. In the head, get rid of the jaw and make sure this is the left eye and right eye. And check all the other bones and press apply. And then press done. Now click on your model again, click add component, and you're gonna add a VRC avatar descriptor. Press enter, and you're gonna line this gray ball up with the middle of her eyes by changing these numbers. Okay, now you wanna have the gray ball kinda half inside of her face and half out. And right here on lip sync, change this to visine blend shape. Click the down arrow, drag the body into here. This should auto populate. Now click eye look, click enable, and open all of this up until you get to the neck, head, right here, left eye, right eye. Now for this, for the constraints, I would play around with these. I usually like to use negative 20 here, 20 here, negative 20 here, and 20 here. That's going to be for her eye movement. That's the maximum amount that the eyes can move. Now for eyelid type, press blend shapes and drag in the body. You'll change blink to blink, You'll change looking up to none, change looking down to none. Now click VRChat SDK menu at the top show control panel and I like to drag it over here sign in click here on builder and click all of the auto fixes you should have no more errors and then you can press build and publish for windows now position the camera wherever you'd like it to be for the thumbnail and name your model add a description and either make it private or public and upload. And when you go into VR chat, your model will be here. Click on it, change into avatar. And that's how you make an avatar in VR chat. If you want to learn more on how to make the avatars, how to make dynamic bones, how to optimize the avatar, how to do various head swaps or uh, re retexture the models, change the color of the model, then uh, follow me and subscribe on YouTube and I will have more tutorials coming out soon.